Hey, it's rolling. It was love, maybe. It was least like and a dual tolerance and certainly attraction. A connection, if you will, that in our prehistoric times might have brought them together without much more formality or bureaucracy. Enter overbearing political religion bent on controlling what goes into and what comes out of a woman's body despite her wishes. Enter close-mindedness, which shut the door afterward to a devout follower, someone who sought refuge and sanctuary from a place of worship. Enter someone who tried to reconcile her religious beliefs with her basest human instincts. A religion that espouses unconditional love, then excuses its followers from applying it by saying that humans aren't perfect, so screw hippie, darky, faggy Muslim. You can't possibly be a good person if you don't believe in my God. Then things happened. Things she never thought could happen so naturally. So naturally that doctors told her it never could, but it did, and she's happy for a moment. Until the political religion overbears on her newly bearing surprise, a child conceived like Jesus out of wedlock. Like Jesus who hung out with and loved whores, Mary Magdalene anyone, adulterers, thieves, transgender, and gay people. Fun fact, Matthew 19, 12, for there are eunuchs who were born that way from their mother's womb. Eunuchs in this instance refer to gay men. He who is able to accept this, let him accept it. Fun fact, Luke 22.10, he replied, As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters. It was culturally a woman's job to carry jars of water. Who else but a male who was presenting it as a woman to be carrying a jar of water? Fun fact, Jesus wasn't really born on Christmas. But facts will never appeal to fiction-fattened imperfect hypocrites who badger this young woman and her partner. Sure, the guy wasn't God, but who is nowadays? I sh guess I shouldn't be surprised by a religion that cherry-picks the parts of its holy book which feed their narrative until the overweight bastard blobs its way through history, eating folk culture traditions like Easter eggs, picking its teeth with Christmas trees. She sought acceptance. Chances are she was so overjoyed by the unexpected happening that she didn't even think to feel guilty. For shame. How dare she follow her heart or her body or her own sensibilities and bodily autonomy. How dare she <gasps> have sex before marriage. Her name isn't Mary after all. And his name wasn't Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, Buddha, Shiva, or Satan. He was just a man doing what some men do. She was just a woman doing what she wanted with her body. And unlike Mary, at least she was given the choice. Now God looks down and weeps, because when you shun a woman for getting pregnant out of wedlock, you lose all rights to call yourself a church. How long was that?